Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am discussing about Peacock Weissman hypothesis. Weissman and Peacock has studied United Kingdom during the period 1890 to 1955 and both has given the combined theory of public expenditure. Hypothesis of Weissman Peacock was considered the second theory of public expenditure. Both economists criticized the first theory of public expenditure called as Wagner's law of increasing state activities. Weissman Peacock explained that Wagner's law is operating in an economy but expenditure grows with the growth in revenue of the state therefore public expenditure is increasing in jerks or step-like fashion rather than a smooth continuous steady growth. Weissman Peacock studied public expenditure pattern of UK from 1890-1955 and on the basis of their empirical study they made conclusion that the public expenditure does not increase in a smooth and continuous manner but in jumps and jerks or step-like fashion. Public expenditure in public sector has followed a discrete step rather than a continuous growth pattern. During the period under the study, they found that government physical activities in the country have risen step by step to successive new plateaus. Moreover, the absolute and relative increase that is step upward in taxing and spending activities by the British government have generally taken place during the periods of major social disturbance or crisis such as war or depression. These kinds of changed physical situation caused the previous lower tax and expenditure level to be replaced by new higher budgetary levels. This movement from the older level of expenditure and taxation to a new and higher level is called the displacement effect. After the social disturbance has ended, the new level of tax is tolerated by the society. The emerged new level of tax tolerance make the society willing to support higher levels of public expenditure. In other words, the tax threshold has increased. Thus, there is no strong motivation to return to the lower pre-crisis level of taxation. I will explain the graphical illustration of Weissman Peacock hypothesis. This diagram demonstrates the displacement effect with the tax threshold behavior. Time or year is measured along the horizontal axis while public sector revenue mostly taxes and public expenditure as a percentage of gross national product are measured along the vertical axis. The figure reveals that as the social disturbance cause a relative expansion of the public sector, the displacement effect which occurs helps to explain the time pattern by which the government growth take place. This displacement effect does not require that the new higher plateau of expenditure continues the same expenditure composition that was created by the social disturbance. Some of the increased expenditures like debt interest are the direct result of the social disturbance while other expenditure arose as a result of technological development and expansion of government activities into new areas. For instance, war and other social disturbance frequently force the people and the government to find out a lasting solution to the long-standing and pending problems which are previously neglected. This is known as inspection effect. Inspection effect is the inadequacy of revenue in comparison with the required public expenditure. In addition to the displacement and inspection effect, Peacock and Weissman also give narration about 
concentration or scale effect it refers to the apparent tendency for the central government economic activity to become an increasing proportion of total public sector economic activity when a society is experiencing economic growth this occurs because central government has to initiate a number of measures to sustain higher economic activity since each major disturbance lead to a situation in which the central government assuming a larger proportion of the total national economic activity the net result is the concentration effect let us sum up the three effect that is a uh, presented in the weisman peacock hypothesis the first one is the displacement effect that is due to social disturbance and the second one is the inspection effect that is due to the solution of the problems in the economy and the third one is the concentration effect that is due to role played by the government in the economy along with these three effects the concept of tolerance level of taxation is also explained by the dio weisman and pico hypothesis appears to be quite relevant at the outlet the hypothesis look quite convincing it emphasizes jerks and germs in public expenditure on account of unusual and abnormal situation according to professor aronson for peacock and weisman expenditure growth is sporadic rather than constant and revenues create their own expenditures however we must not forget the fact that in account of the advancement of the economy and the structural changes therein there are constant and regular increment in public expenditure and revenue public expenditure has a tendency to grow on account of a systematic expansion of government activities both in terms of intensity and quality the regular and dynamic changes in the state activity and public spending caused by the macro variables like population growth urbanization awareness of civic rights on the part of the citizen and the political and the social commitment on the part of the democratic governments voted to power are major factors that giving a book big push to upward trend in public expenditure however the influence of these factors on government spending were not systematically analyzed by the weisman and peacock in their hypothesis however bernard p hober sincerely argues that the peacock weisman hypothesis of governmental spending trends is much more modest in what it intend to explain than in the wagner's hypothesis the fact is that both the wagner's and peacock weisman narrations contribute a lot in understanding the process of public sector growth in industrialized nation thank you